Candy, we're closing. Well, this is unacceptable. Because I booked it yesterday. Yes, a one-hour Sunset Bliss massage with Tanya. No, it has to be Tanya. I need to know that this bank is secure. Just trust me. I've upgraded dozens of banks. It'll be fine. I don't need fine. I need guarantees. Gordon, you've got them. It's a security upgrade, not the end of the world. I swear, Caitlin, if he keeps me late again and I'm Miss Cooper Town, I am gonna burn this place to the ground. Oh, I hear you, hon. We've all got plans. Mr. Sullivan, it's always a pleasure to see you. Look, I scheduled this massage a month ago. No, I need Tanya. Her hands like little jackhammers. Well, who can I get? Jonathan? Well, does he have strong hands? How may I help you today, sir? Change for 100. Absolutely. How would you like it broken? Seven nickels, uh, 31 quarters, and 919 dimes. <laughs> what? Oh, you're right. That's too many dimes. So I'm going to do 107 nickels, 839 dimes, 29 quarters, and seven half dollar pieces, please. Is that Chile? Brazil. You know what? I'm never going to use the half dollar pieces. Can I get 101 nickels, 157 quarters, and 557 dimes, please? Is this a joke? No. I just have this thing for coins. I like their weight. I like their size. I like the way they jingle in my pocket. It's kind of weird. What is? The numbers you mentioned, 101, 157, 557, they're all prime numbers. No one's ever noticed that before. I work with numbers all day. You do that in your head? Yes. Good trick at math parties. <laughs> I bet. What's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin, I am Trip. It's very oh, nice hi, to meet you. Oh, hi, we don't you. actually, um, <laughs> shake hands with customers. Oh, right. Phone scramblers live. When are you getting married? How do you know I'm getting married? Oh, my wedding gifts. That's also quite a rock. Are you marrying Jay Z or somebody? My fiance's well off, yes. Well off? They're getting married in Brunei in two days. My husband won't even take me to the Susan. Oh, he's rich. Well, is he happy? We're extremely happy. How kind of you to ask. Check Darian. Check Weinstein. Check Geitz. All right, we're live. Go weapons hot. Yeah. Breach the door. Go on, hit it with the clicker. Go, go, go! Six and one makes seven. Is there anything else I can do for you today, sir? No, I'm good, thank you. Thanks for choosing Credit International. Have a great day. You're beeping. What? Oh, yes, it reminds me to take my meds. Pharmacy around here? Two blocks up. Very nice meeting you, Caitlin. Nice to meet you too, Trip. Good luck with your whole thing. They're about to be robbed. Huh? Ah! 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 
robbing the bank. Yeah, and it's sort of obvious with the guns and everything? No, this is our job. Stand down. I ain't see your name on the sign out there. Unless your name is Credit. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, given all the weird names parents give their kids these days. The alarm isn't working. No cell phone reception either. What do we do? Proceed as planned. <laughs> the security update. You don't let the system reboot the whole bank will lock down. No, we know that. Just do it or I'll shoot you in the fucking face. Hold on, son. There's, there's still... Oh. Oh. Do it! Okay. Okay. You have exactly three seconds to stand down or you will be fired upon. Come on, dude. Let's go. There's lots of other ATMs. One. On two, start banging away. I heard that. Two. So does everyone. Just stand down. Just wait. Okay? This ever happened to you before? Hell no. He's dead. Look, sometimes that happens in these crossfire situations. Don't make a big production out of it, okay? You're here for the vaults, right? Who the fuck is this guy? And you guys said something about going after the ATMs? Maybe. So then... What's the problem? Are you seriously suggesting that we rob the same bank? Yeah. Why not? Just pretend it's two different banks. This guy's nuts. Don't even tell me you're considering this. Look, I'd rather not add any more murders to my rap sheet. For fuck's sake, one of them will shoot to a bank robber. We gotta kill him. I don't know. What do you think, old man? I'm with you, D. I've had my fill of killing. But why the fuck are we even carrying guns? Come on, we don't want to shoot two motherfuckers. The guns are for taking hostages. That was always part of the plan. Now we just have two more hostages. Am I right, D? So what's our plan? If they want to rob the bank together, we rob the bank together. If they want to kill us, we kill them first. Cool plan. All right, listen up. We're going to take the vault. You two idiots want the ATMs, that's fine. Just stay the fuck out of our way. You got it, big city. Rudy Tootie. You got to be fucking kidding me. What? Now, what, is, what are we supposed to do? What is one? You two, could you? She wants to come over. It's OK. You, come in. Watch him. Just a sec. You want to come? Fuck off. Put the guns down. Put the guns down. All right, come here. Let's introduce ourselves. There's no reason why we can't be friends. I'm peanut butter, and this here's jelly. Those ain't our real names. Jesus Christ. We wanted something that goes good together, and milk and cookies was already taken. Fucking kidding me. I want all the hostages out here now! All right, everybody. Cell phones, pages, fucking Twitter things, anything with an on off switch. Yeah, and guns, obviously. Thank you for being a terrible bank guard. Hey, guys. 
I gotta get out of here. Of course you gotta get out of here. You're a fucking hostage. Get in there! Hey, shut up and don't touch anything. I, get away from the fucking door. Can I? Stay away from the door. Please don't kill me on the toilet. Jesus Christ, it smells like an arsehole factory in here. You will be ashamed of yourself, mate. <laughs> Obviously, on behalf of the uh, bank, I'm, I'm just terribly sorry. Okay, let me just amend that. <clears throat> We're terribly sorry. Rex, please. Hey, everybody, I'm Rex Neubauer. I'm a loan officer, and we're in luck. Certified post-robbery counselor. I've counseled over 75 bank robbery survivors. We're gonna make it here, gang. Now, our primary objective is to become a cohesive unit. Sir, may I help you, please? My primary goal is to get out of here alive. Okay, well, as an expert in standard bank robbery procedure... There's nothing uh, standard about this bank robbery. We have two heists going on at the same time with a dead body, which basically guarantees that the bank robbers are gonna come in here and kill us all. What? Oh, don't tell me that, man. That's some bullshit. I don't wanna die. People, let's stay calm. Oh, ah! Okay. Now, this bank opens at 5 a.m. By that time, my colleagues and I will be long gone. We're all locked in here, okay? So even if you were to get out of this kitchen, you can't get out of the bank. So sit down and shut up. What if one of us uh, has a condition that requires us to use the bathroom a lot? Yes, there will be bathroom breaks. You will not try to escape. You will not try to contact anyone outside of the bank. You will not make noise. Really, a watch alarm? What are you, like in the sixth grade? It just goes off every hour. It reminds me to take my meds, which unfortunately I'm out of, unless anybody has any Deprecane. Five Xanax. I got Ativan and Prilosec. I've got a couple of Ritalin. I might have a few Prozac. Take Adderall and Nasonex. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I just said no talking! What's going on? You got Oprah's book club in here. What, you want me to fuck someone up? No, we're good. Did you hit the cameras, phones, and computers? Yeah, you sure you won't want to fuck someone up? Yeah, I just said I didn't. Go get the scrambler. All right. Jesus Christ, that accent is ridiculous. Before we get started, let's check on the other guys. Blood start on the torch in a few minutes. Make sure the time lock rig is ready. Shit is so dope. What the fuck? Hey, no problem, man. We just come in to peep at your toys. You is so pimp, man. Did you see my face? What? No. Did you see my fucking no, face? No, we ain't seen your face. Hey, hey, admit it. Don't lie to me. You saw my face, right? I might have seen your face. Oh, God damn it! Yeah, I seen it, too. A very attractive face. Shut the fuck up! God damn it! You know what? You two motherfuckers are like children. You know, you're worse than my kids. You do not know what you're doing. Have you ever even robbed a bank before? Like dozens. Yeah, I, we just pulled this job with the Callahan brothers in Dubuque. Now that was fun. Whoa, 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 what the fuck are you doing, man? See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Don't tell me about the other jobs you pulled. Don't tell me about the people you pulled them with. Don't rob a motherfucking bank without a motherfucking mask. Come on, guys, that's like a criminal 101. It's like your tattoos, for instance. Oh, you like them? <laughs> Check this out. You can try and bind me, but it ain't gonna hold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, he didn't get it. Do, do it again. No, 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 wow. I, uh, no, believe me, I, I get it. I think I need to speak slower to you, too. Generally, criminals try and minimize their distinctive 
qualities. So that they can't be identified afterwards. Come on, guys, what the fuck? You can try and bind me, but it ain't gonna hold. Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> Both of you. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here before I put a bullet in both your asses. You stupid motherfuckers. Now, I know some of you have husbands and wives that are gonna panic when you don't come home tonight. So we're gonna give you each one phone call. You will tell your certain someone that you're spending the night at a friend's house and you will be convincing or I will blow your genitals off. Who wants to go first? You? How about you? No? Okay, you with the ugly tie. Oh. Hello, darling. Number two is toast, three is up. We're 49 minutes behind schedule, 49. Copy that. Mother roof. All right, now you know how I usually get the blue stuff, right? But this, this was on sale. I love how thrifty you are. Maybe we ought to read the directions just to be sure. What is that? Korean? No, actually, now that's Chinese, see? Because Chinese is a pictogram alphabet. Is it? Well, explosives is explosives. I um, am not going to come to the airport tonight. I'm really sorry. My mother is sick, and I'm going to stay with her. And maybe we can go tomorrow, and I love you. Goodbye. I don't have anybody to call. Nobody? That's really sad. Just kidding. Go fuck yourself. This is the most pathetic group of hostages I've ever seen. All right, sit down and shut up. Sit down and shut up. I just said that. I was just reinforcing your message. Well, as I predicted, they didn't kill us. Trip is a trip. Mm -hmm. Would you like to apologize for scaring us all half to death? Why didn't they kill us? Why do they have to kill us? They're gonna go down for murder already. Why not kill all the witnesses? The same charge, frankly, it's what I would do. Well, maybe each gang thinks that the other one did it, and so they don't have to kill us. He was deliberately shot. <laughs> Until we figure out who he is and why he killed Jack Hayes, we're all totally fucked. How do you know his name? Driver's license. You stole a dead man's wallet. Mm-hmm. You're up. Jesus Christ. Remember when you just needed a gun in a brown paper bag? Tell me about it. Do you see a clue? No. I still don't know what he does for a living. His business card, his credit cards, and AT. He's in Citibank, but no credit international card. So? So, why would Jack Hayes in this bank he had no business here? He was opening up a new account. Damn it. Let's see. Gordon and the computer guy were over by the mainframe. Madge was at her station counting money. A creepy security guard was standing by the door, checking out the Swiss miss who was sitting at the loan officer's desk. Caitlin was at her station, and Jack Hayes was... No. Jack Hayes wasn't opening up a new account. He was loitering at the check writing counter. If he was opening up a new account, he would have gone straight to one of the bank officers. Then what was he doing here? I have no idea. Hey. Breathing on me. What are you doing? 
Hello, Trip. What? what are you doing? I'm looking for a way out. Did you not hear the part where they said they would kill us? How come you haven't had your ring fitted? Excuse me? How long have you been engaged? Most women know the answer right away. Why are you marrying Max? You don't even know him. I know that he's rich. I know that he can't match your hunger for adventure, your sense of humor, and doesn't understand you sexually. She told me Max Aaron's his genes. Madge. She's worked here two months already, and I've never met him. You know what? Enough. You know what? There are four photos taped to your television station. Three are Brazil. You like adventure, but Max is not in any of them. He went with the banana hammock, okay, and got a bad sunburn. He stayed in that day. Fourth one is of you and Max in front of his mansion. You look tiny compared to the house, which tells me you like the house more than the man putting you in it. You know what? Who are you? The most interesting thing about you is that you still work here, even though you don't need the money. You're an independent woman. I like that. Damn straight I am. I'm sorry. When I'm off my meds, I'm not that good with, you People? Know, especially ones I want to sleep with. Uh, and I say things like that. Oh, God. Stop it! Stop it! You're gonna get us all killed! Did you let go? Stop it! What? Just let go of my legs! Rick, He's gonna get us all killed! Go. Just be quiet up there, son. All right. Hey. They call me Mr. Clean. So where are you from? No English. Yeah? I've never been to no English. I hear it's right next to, uh, no problem. <laughs> There's a draft. I'm good. Make it rain, baby. Good. still work. Yeah, it still works. Right, now, how much time does that set us back? About an hour or so. Oh, oh, look, I say we forget the focus, just kill those muppets and do the ATMs. That's blue collar. That's blue collar, dude. Fine, all right, but we still got to kill him, all right, because he's slowing us down. Who put it in their fucking brain? Did we blow the ATM? Jesus, good to see your ugly face. Dude, you just ate three bricks of plastic explosive. But did we blow the ATM? Let me look. Oh. Uh, you want the uh, good news or the bad news? Good news. The good news is we blew the door off. Bad news is, these ATMs got two doors. On your fucking knees! Go! Go! Hey, go! I ain't even pulled the trigger, man. The thing just went off. Yeah, I don't care. Now, on your fucking knees! Okay, um, face front. Face front! Put your hands behind your head. Hands on your fucking knees! You're about to die, dude. They probably don't need the exit. You got any ideas, bro? See you on the other side, dog. That's it. Are you supposed to go for the brain stem, right? It's like less diffraction or something. Hey, dude. Yeah. Been cool. Yeah, totally cool. Wouldn't have done it with nobody else. <clears throat> Look, maybe this isn't our strongest play, practically speaking. Look, the fuck, Weinstein? You said we could kill him now. Just show me the spot. Look, next time you guys are gonna blow something up, you let us know. <laughs> you got it, bro. And I just want to thank you both personally for not killing us. Oh, well, well, hang on. We're not doing them now. And your old fucks have completely lost your heads! <laughs> what the fuck are you people doing out of the kitchen? I, I, I make your fucking ideas now, man. We have to kill them all. <laughs> you missed B.I.T. <laughs> well, he got you.
you, bro. What? I Yo, can't hear you, boy. Your ear. My what? Other ear. That's the one. What? Get ready to die, jism sucker. All right, go ahead. Shoot him. Go ahead, do it. I will. Do it. Then I'll shoot you, and this retarded cycle of violence can continue forever. Go on, schmuck. Do it. What are you doing, man? You're trying to get me shot. No, no, peanut butter. Don't, don't shoot him. We're better than that, man. Okay. Just gonna do a crawl to head here and back off. Just backing on out. Gates, move the hostages into that office up there. Just do it. You okay, sweet cookie? My sweet butter cookie? Get out of here! Jeez. You killed Jack Case? Why in the fuck is there a hostage talking to me? Somebody murdered him, and they're gonna kill again soon. Look, you're talking about the guy in the windbreaker. It wasn't me. I didn't have an angle on him. And how the fuck did you get out of here? Who had the angle? Get the fuck out of here. What are you doing here? Can you watch the hostages, please? Let's go! What? Just calm down. You're really high strung. What you need is a sedative. What is wrong with you? I have a gun trained on the back of your head. Yes! Damn it! What were you guys talking about in there? Hey, you wanna know? If I thought you killed the guy in the windbreaker jacket. Really? Yes. Did you? No. Oh. We're pros. Right. If one of our guys killed that guy, you hostages would all be as dead as him. Right. He was also trying to figure out why exactly two bank robbers went down at the same time. What, are you joking? No. At 7 p.m., the computer guy rebooted the entire security system to new protocol. Right. The entire security system was down for two minutes. Ooh. I'm shocked there wasn't a dozen bank robbers in here tonight. Really? Darian should know that. Uh-huh. He does know that, doesn't he? Well, you're just trying to get information out of me. Yeah. So did you kill Jack Hayes? You know, in all my years mm -hmm. of taking hostages, you are by far the most annoying. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Get in there, Rain Man. <laughs> hey, computer guy. How come you only press 10 buttons when you called your wife before? What are you talking about? When everyone else used the phone, they pressed 10 buttons and then they pressed send. So that's 11 buttons, but you only pressed 10. I count everything, okay? So how come you pretend to call your wife? Because you sold the information when the alarms would be down to one of the criminals and then you got greedy and you sold it again. Double the cash, double the robbery. That's why you didn't call your wife. Mitchell? You want that I should rough him up? Yeah, it might be good practice for when the cops show up. Hey, can we waterboard him? I saw how to do it on the Discovery Channel. I just need a mop and no, some no, tweezers. No, 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 hey, hey, hold it. I did. I sold the downtime information. What? But I swear to God, I only did it once, okay? And I don't even know who to. I faxed the information. They paid me in cash. You've got to believe me. Why should we trust you? No reason. But I swear to God, I never meant anybody to get hurt. And I didn't kill Jack Hayes. Nobody said you did. We should be in by now. Listen, old man, if you want to get out your stethoscope when Bobby pins and break into this vault, 1970 star by all means, have at it. Otherwise, shut your fucking face, all right? Jesus fucking Christ. Come on, baby. Yes! I'm a fucking genius. Good job, my man. Those fucking bollocks. Wait, pen left. Pen left. That's not right. The vault spec said that the clutch was five centimeters. That's way thicker. Shit! What? How long is it gonna take to burn through that? I don't know, an hour or two? I mean, do all Shit. your jobs run this bad? I mean, do I have to worry if there's enough petrol in a getaway van? Look at me, fucko. We're past the time lock. We don't need you anymore. Are you threatening me, you bald little Jew? Hey, 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 hey! Bald hey, little hey, Jews! Hey, relax! Done more for mankind mm -hmm. than any other kind of person. Okay, okay. Ever. So go fuck yourself! Hey. Go check on peanut butter and jelly. Make sure they're not doing anything retarded. Go! Mm -hmm. Just go! Shit. Relax. It never ends. 3,000 years we've been taking this shit. Yeah, I know, man. I know. 
I mean, it's not like I'm an accountant or a comedy writer or something really Jewy. I'm a fucking bank robber, for Christ's sake. You know how many Jewish bank robbers there are? Not many. Not very many. And even in this work environment, all they see is bagels and schmear and Goldman Sachs. Look, we're gonna burn through the clutch, all right? It's just gonna take a little bit more time. I don't know, D. We always said that we would bail on any job if the intel sucked. Already the vault specs are shit. We're behind schedule. Our number three guy, Lancelot, is a fucking psycho. We got two hillbillies in the lobby playing with weapons-grade plastic explosives. Our faces are in the open. Ten years ago, we would have bailed. You know I'm right. Ten years ago, we weren't in a recession. Fucking bubble. Look, look, listen to me. I'm about to be 40 in a couple of years. That's like 80 in criminal years. Shit, I should be out of the game by now. But fuck, man, I need the money more than ever. You know, I just got my little girl some fucking braces. Yeah? Yeah, the Invisalign. No. Yeah, not that cheap ceramic shit either. Nine grand to pop. Fuck! Yeah, tell me about it. And they call us criminals. We should have been dentists. We should have been dentists. Yeah, absolutely right. Except, well, technically, we'd be orthodontists, but fuck that. Listen, shit. go and take the hostages on the bathroom break, all right? I'll start on the clutch. Look, man, we'll get through this, all right? We always do. Okay, so we're gonna slide this C4 into that door crack there and punch the door out. Like opening a beer can. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you fucking mugs are the worst bank robbers I've ever seen. Do you know that? Yeah? You know, you just blew my ear off like 15 minutes ago, so you'll pardon me if I just let your little comments go in one ear and out the other. <laughs> <laughs> what? You only got one ear, bro. <laughs> Hey, that's an expression, dude. Can't believe you're saying with him. Listen, we cannot let them divide us, man. You know, they're just trying to lower our ranking. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. You muppets are ranked. Bet your sweet ass. Yes, sir, we are. Higher than you, probably. Oh, yeah? Do you want to bet? Bring it on. Yeah? Let's go. Let's see where we're at. I did not know they posted rankings on the internet here. Hey, Jill, you remember that one website? <laughs> yes. We, we got cyber whipped. You ever been cyber whipped? No, I have never been cyber whipped. We got mixed feelings about the whole experience, but in a homegrown life, you gotta take your fantasy where you can find it. See any clues? No, I need to get closer. How are you gonna do that? I'm working on it. Okay? Yeah. I'm good. Fine. I'm good. Or what are you, like ADD or something? No. You don't have to be defensive, Trip. We've all got our own stuff. I'm not squirreling away Xanax for nothing. Why are you taking Xanax? Uh, I don't know. Pre-wedding jitters, I guess. That's because you know Max is not right for you. Oh, yes. Right, of course. That must be it. What do you take? What don't I take? Street or prescript? Oh, prescription. Never trust anything on the street. What do you take it for? All right, you don't have to tell me. Shuts off the TVs. Hmm, interesting. Care to elaborate? How do I explain this? I've seen hundreds of doctors and they've given me hundreds of diagnoses. Without my meds, it's like, it's like, uh... I'm in front of a lot of TVs. They're all on different channels. A normal person can Focus on one, I have to take in all of them at the same time. Can you turn them off? No. I wish I could. Believe me. I've tried everything. Channel surf? No. Drag? Yes. Well, you know what they say. Normal's just a cycle on the washing machine. To the crazy person, the normal one's saying. Right, this is the FBI's most wanted for banks. Number one, Vasilis Drum. Man, he's overrated. I don't know, bro. Perfect getaway record, highest take the heist ratio, and his jobs is planned to a T. Run like fat people to the buffet. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I mean, look at that Baltimore job. 20 kills? That seems, you know, excessive. Walked away with eight figures. Yeah, whatever, all right? And number two is Mick Nylon and his crew. 
And number three is Alexis Black, and she's pretty good for a girl. And there's Darian and Weinstein at number 12. Now, they've been at it for over 15 years, so they have a lot more credits than me. And there's me, 68, 68. in banks, but <laughs> I'm four oh, in cyber grip. Hey, ha, good for you yeah. there. Awesome. Hey, you know what? Now I can go around and I can say I got my ears shot off by the fourth best cyber grifter <laughs> in the country. Hey, yeah, you, you won't shoot my pinky off? <laughs> Did you just punch me in the arm? Did he just punch me in the arm? Okay, now, where are we? Where are we ranked? Come on. All right. We're number 674? Well, they probably ain't took into account that international job we just pulled. We had a Jiffy Lube in Winnipeg. No, it's here. You got picked up in Saginaw after your car broke down. Right. The engine gummed up. What, your engine gummed up after robbing a fucking Jiffy Lube store? You know, it's not that ironic to us. Yeah. Oh, God. I broke the chain, man. They're gonna fucking kill me. Jesus God in heaven! Relax. You can always turn state's evidence and go to jail. What, is that supposed to make me feel better? Yeah, the joint ain't so bad. Really, it's not as gay as everyone thinks. No. Well, for you, it might be. You're pretty rapable. Come on, man! Gross! Hey, a little help in here! <coughs> they figure out you're the snitch, Mitch? <coughs> Let's go. Let's go. Move. Come on! Okay. Go. Okay. Get out of here. Gates! Will you come to the bathroom break? I gotta get this guy some Pepto. Oh, sorry, guys. I shall see you later. you did blow the last one. <laughs> well, now, you also took one for the team with your ear and all, so... I got an idea. Hey, Bono! What say we borrow one of the hostages? The ear's half ours, ain't they? Oh, you wanna pick teams or something? Hey? The whole team. Mother Reed. Okay, we'll take this sort of quasi hottie. Oh, I think you're a full on hottie. All right, I'll take, uh. Oh, fuck it. Cubal and creepy mustache with me. Black chick, freak show, and closet homosexual with them. What? I need to go to the laboratory. What, didn't you just piss? What, you got a re piss? What? Is there something wrong with your willy? No, I just, I need, I need, I have a bit of a condition. All right, fuck it. Go on. Okay, now for the sake of team spirit, we are gonna be called Mystic the Lightning. What? No, not Mystic Lightning. I hate that name. Oh, so what? Badgers are cool. Badgers are tunnel dwelling rodents who live on garbage and poop, dude. They are not inspirational animals. Bro, you got to choose peanut butter and jelly. I get this one. Fine. Okay, so for our first activity, we need one very special badger, preferably who can read Chinese to detonate some totally not dangerous explosives for us. Dude, if you ask like that, no one is going to volunteer. I'll do it. What? I can see Jack Hayes. See? Hi. The man is dead. There's nothing you can do for him. Oh, my God, do you like me? I do not like you. Oh, my God, I don't like you. I really didn't think I had a shot. How is Max going to react to this? You know what? Fuck off. Go get me and see if I care. Go on, beat it. I'm not gay. This is not the time. Okay, now here's what's supposed to happen. 
You jam the igniter into the C4. You stroll casually to a safe location, and I press the detonator. Here's what's actually going to happen. Igniter into C4, huge explosion, and you get launched across the bank, and we find you in a pile of rubble. OK? Good luck. Okay, bro. Good to go. He is not the smartest badger. No. Son of a bitch. New rule. From here on out, we only rob human beings. This is fucking ridiculous. coin on the planet. Hey, Jelly! Things is looking up. I just found us a bunch of nickels. Shut him up now. Run through him this way. Drop the gun, bro. That you heard the man. Drop it. Put the gun down. Put it down. Put the fucking That's gun down, you. dude. Yo! Earth, Earth to go. Go. Put the fucking gun down! Put the fucking gun down! Drop the gun! Drop the gun, dude! What the fuck are you waiting on? Put the gun down! Guys, what's up? Drop the gun! This? I found it on him? I ain't interested in the fucking provenance of the gun. Just put her on the ground. You gotta be kidding me. Dude, I know that we're sort of the junior varsity team around here, but we'd appreciate it if you'd surrender your weapon to us when we holding you at gunpoint. This fucking thing is FBI issued. FBI? That's interesting. Wait a minute. An FBI agent tried to rob this bank too? Or he was here investigating somebody? Right? We have at least five wooden criminals in this bank, right? What the fuck is going on here? Bingo. You got it? Nope. I found that missing piece to your ear. Now, if you got a faint, I got you. OK. Peanut butter and jelly came through the front door there. Darian and Gates came down the stairs there. Bullets flew north, south. The blood splattered east, west. If it got caught in a crossfire, it'd be north, south. Darian and Gates were on the wrong axis. So were peanut butter and jelly. The FBI guy, Jack Hayes, was dead center. With him in that position, only two guys could have shot him. Mitchell, the computer guy, but he wasn't armed. So if you eliminate that option, there's only one other possibility. The murderer must be. Weinstein. Absolutely sure. Absolutely. Weinstein, what's your point? Shit. Shit. Shit, they shot each other. No, no. There's no fucking way that this asshole was able to draw faster than Weinstein. No way. And where the fuck would he get a gun and a silencer? What do you make of this then, Spaceman? 
operating at Weinstein's piss because a computer guy invited two parties to the heist, and a computer guy, he's mad because Weinstein killed the FBI guy. Now they both confront each other, both draw, both die. Why would Weinstein confront him now? Surprise the bastard. And why would Weinstein even kill an FBI agent in the middle of the bank heist? But to surprise the bastard. Weinstein had the computer guy at gunpoint when he came into the kitchen, but the computer guy got two shots into it. Well, maybe someone surprised somebody else in some other manner. What if it wasn't a confrontational moment? What if they were allies? Hey, go on. You better watch your fucking mouth when you talk about my friend. He would never turn on me, ever. We've been working together for 15 years now, and that means something in this fucking business. Besides, only people that had access to the kitchen were uh, only peanut butter, jelly, and... And you, Gates, oh. have access to the kitchen. Uh, and the hostages upstairs in the ceiling. Wait a minute. The hostages are crawling around in the fucking ceiling now. You see that? This is it. This job is over. No, no, wait, wait. You, wait here. Darian, Darian, mate, listen. Nothing, bro. Except I'm gonna get this piece of ear into the freezer up there. Buddy, I swear if you was a woman, I'd marry you. Well, I ain't. Whoa, bro. I'm coming downstairs with me. With the clicker. We needed to get out of here. So are a couple more dead bodies. That means we changed the plan, all right? It doesn't mean we call off the job. <laughs> the plan? You know what they say about plans, don't nah, you? No, what they say. They say, if you want to make God laugh, tell him all about your fucking plans. And believe me, that motherfucker's up there laughing his ass off at us right now. Because ever since we entered this miserable fucking bank, nothing is going according to the goddamn plan. Now, where's the goddamn clicker? Weinstein at it, all right? Yeah, no shit, Sherlock, but where did he put it? I don't know where he put it. All right, listen, Darian, just listen to me, all right? Just calm down and listen to me, all right? We should have gotten out of here a long fucking time ago. No, no, listen, mate. It's, it's over. No, we need that to bust the clutch, yeah? Yeah, well, I needed to cut my way out. Don't fuck me over here, all right? Because I want to stay here and do this bank. The bank job is a bust. It's not a fucking bust. Listen to me, all right? Me and you sitting on a desert island somewhere, something, something, five dollars, lots of birds, all that sort of shit. Think about it. It's a good fucking option Get for you, fuck mate. Get out of here. I'm like, Darian, come on, mate. You blow the fuck. Darian! Come on, man. The boats are retracted. It's just the motor left. This will drastically. Get the fuck off me! Look, this will drastically affect your ratings, mate. That's all I'm fucking saying, all right? And I thought you people had balls! Are you a fucking disgrace to black criminals everywhere? Fuck you. Shit! Fucking shit! Tonight's been a complete and a fuck up, but not anymore. No, no. Now there is only one robbery team, the three of us. Hey, can we be Mystic Lightning? No, you can't be fucking Mystic Lightning, you muppet. <sighs> There's no more bathroom breaks, no more perks, no more cushy treatment. This shit just got really fucking real. And because there is now only one army, there is now only one general, me. All right, I'm the fucking general. I'm in complete control. Nothing happens here without me saying so, all right? Oh, fucking come on. Honestly, I don't know why I fucking bother. Now go on, take the hostages up the office. Go on. Now go on. All right, everybody, you heard the man. Come on, come on, get moving. Everybody up the stairs. Let's go, let's go. Did you rig his blowtorch? No, I fucking didn't. And I suppose you wankers didn't either, right? Nope. 
So, what's next? Do we start with a vault, or do we kill all the hostages? Oh, uh, definitely the vault. We find that having hostages around can be real handy. You can use them as human shields, or they can fetch stuff for you, like uh, bags of money or snacks. Fine. All right, we start with a vault on one condition. When the time comes to do them, I get to do them all. Yeah. yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. We ain't really into mass murder, but if that's part of your M.O., that's totally cool with us. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> yeah. Come on, let's get to work. You okay? Oh, I'm great. This is so much better than flying first class, drinking champagne, going to my wedding. If you could walk out of the bank with the money, would you still need Max? Oh, God. Seriously, Trip, you have got to let this go. I can't let anything go. I'm obsessive. If you had the money, would you still need Max? Yes, I would. What, to open the door for you? Sure. To cuddle you at night? I'm not so big on cuddling. Take your mom and dad for the weekend? My mom happens to love him. You know what the problem is? Everybody says money can't buy happiness, but nobody actually believes it. Trip, your persistence is touching. It really is. But at 5 a.m., I walk out of here and go back to Max. So you're saying I have until 5 a.m.? No! That is not what I'm saying! Now, since the torch is blown, we'll use a control blast with your C4 and a the clutch there. Oh, we all about the controlled blast. Yeah, that'd be a nice change of pace. Now, I just want you lads to know that I'm not just using you for your explosives. No, right. we ain't got that. Right. Just go and check on that now. Rochambeau. Okay, but no pee, no sneak attacks, no dynamite, no Apache helicopters, and no nuclear weapons. Just go and check on them, all right? And kill whoever's up there. He always throws scissors. Why do I go with paper? Why, Jelly? Why do you always go with paper? You know he's going with scissors. Go with rock. Yo. Hello. Anybody in here? Hey, man, I know you're in here. I don't want to shoot you, Trip. okay? I just, I just want to rob bank. Yeah, and I, I don't know what's happening anymore. With the, with the heist? Yeah, with the, with the heist, with everything. I should be the happiest guy in the world right now. I, I, I got a great job. I work with my best friend. The hours, they're ideal. But we never had to shoot people before, you know? We never had to kill anybody before. Man, can you please just come out of there? You know, it's weird saying all this stuff to a photocopier. Look, I'm not, I am not trying to okay. be negative, OK? OK. It, it, it's all I'm saying is maybe I'm not good at robbing banks, you know? Maybe this is not what Jesus put me on this earth to do. I mean, my grandfather, he sold moonshine. My father was a repeat sex offender. I mean, being a criminal is in my blood. But between you and me, it's always been my dream to work in a water park. I hear you. You know, for whatever it's worth, I think you're a really great bank robber. You mean that? I mean, you're not just saying that because I got a gun pointed at your dick. No, no. Listen, nothing that has gone wrong here tonight is your fault. You're, you're being sabotaged. Here, look. Okay. Look at this. Let me see. Let me show you something. See? Hey. Hey, where'd you... Aw, oh, man, where'd you get those? I stole these from your suitcase earlier. But listen, look, watch. Even with, even with a foreign bandwidth interference, that should work. Watch. 
Who modified this for you? Uh, point man, are you okay? No, who's your point man? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to tell you that. Whoever modified these is trying to kill you. It's either your point man or... How well do you know peanut butter? Hey, bro! <laughs> oh, hey, me and peanut butter, we're <laughs> brothers, you understand me? Yeah. Huh? No, actually, my brother is a prick. Me and peanut butter are like a couple of best friend gay dudes in a bathtub. That's how fucking tight we are, okay? Look, there's a lot of money at play. You have to look at all the angles. You know, he did know about that freezer, even though we'd never been in that kitchen. Then again, it. It is a kitchen. Touche. Who's your point, man? Look at me, man. I'm a fucking mess. You can trust me. Who's your point, man? All right, fine. Here, there. Look at it. His name's Marcellus Drum. We never met him. But his check's clear and his info was straight. Never saw a face, just the facts. Is getting a fax normal? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you think everybody be into the email, right? Now, see. The cops, they got a million ways to track that stuff, but they kind of they kind of skipped on the anti-fax technology, you know? But plus, it, everybody likes the convenience of a hard copy. I don't mean to frighten you, but do you think there could be something to this conspiracy theory? Well, I, I don't want to... I don't want to impugn anyone's character, but the other night, I caught Rex. Measuring the vault, I asked him what he was doing, and he said he was trying to see if there was enough room for the new foreign currencies. Oh my God, that's so weird. It is. He would know when the system was down. Oh my God, he would. Well, and of course, as he's had to tell us multiple times, he's an expert in bank robbery procedure. You're right. But Mr. Vine, he is such a dork. Yes. Anyone see my glucose shot? Oh. oh. Get a chair! Oh, oh my gosh! Oh. oh, you're gonna be okay! Oh my goodness! Oh. Does anybody have any sugar? Oh. Rex? No, I don't stand. Oh. Okay, oh. hold this head. Hold this head. Oh. Fire! Oh. Fire! Fire! Oh. Fire! Oh. Oh. Where's the oh. fire? This man needs a glucose shot, and otherwise he's gonna die, and I'm gonna go get it. You can't stop me. Come on, everybody! Okay, but. Where, where's the fire? So do you work with this Vicellus drum guy a lot? Yeah, we were decoys for him once. He had us rob this Jiffy Lube while he pulled this big heist downtown. Bummer is, this lube place has got like no cash in them. I mean, we scored like 80 bucks Canadian. Hey, oh, Mr. Blythe is having a diabetic fit. We have to find his shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where's my gun? Check under the ledges. That's where we had contraband and Joliet stuck it under there with gum. Wait, you're an ex-con and you're guarding his bank? Yeah, I might have taken a few liberties on my resume. <laughs> what were you in jail for? Not bank robbery. I committed other victimless, you know? Mm-hmm. Mail fraud, I did a lot of mail fraud. Mm-hmm. Fine, but they weren't even big banks. How many banks have you robbed? A few. Dozen. Oh my God. Relax. I'm rehabilitated and shit. So what's your deal? You single? I think I found it. Oh my God. Starting to open his eyes. He's a tough old bird. Okay. Ready? Right, I am closing this door for the last time. Are we clear? I said, is that clear, you fucking cunts? Oh, oh, I don't, I don't like that word. What did you just say? I don't like the c word. Now you try saying that one more time, and I'll cut your face. I son, said, son. I don't like the c word, and in America we never use. Oh, good. The fucking hostages are armed. You got the same type of gun that you do, Jelly. <clears throat> that is my gun, dude. I suppose you'll be needing this. What the fuck is that? That is our way out of here. So what do you want? A cut. Conversation outside. Let's go. 
Hands over your heads, now. Hands over your heads, let's go. Come here, buddy, point back. Why? Unless you have something to barter with, you won't answer my fucking question! All right, all right. Weinstein was our liaison, all right? I never met our point man. How did you communicate? I'm not going to tell you. Do you want to get out of here? Do you want to get out of here? Oh, oh. Just do it! Oh. Answer the question! Oh, all right, listen, listen, look. This fax was all we got, all right? Yeah. Now, I'll trade you for the clicker. All right, there it is. Nice and slow. All right, send us! Now, give me the clicker. Give me the clicker. Here's the clicker. Right. Now, give me the fucking gun. Whoa! Now, that's Jelly's gun. It was his mother's. It was your mother's gun? Your mother gave it to you. All right, I'm sorry. What, are you giving a fucking hostage? It's your gun now, eh? No, Leave I... Leave him fucking there. Have you lost your fucking marbles? You've just lost your gun privileges. Go on. Go on. Jesus, and you. Yes, yes. I have one more fucking peep out of you. All right. One. And you're a dead man, all right? All right. Now get your ass back in there. All right, thank you. Jesus. Now let's get back to work. Oh, my God. What is that all about? I just traded the key out of here for this fax. And that's a good trade? I don't know. That's why I kept the battery. Look. Listen, Mr. Bly told me that he saw Rex measuring the inside of the safe, and I noticed that when I asked for the chair, Swiss Miss brought it right over. Oh, oh geez, Swiss Miss. Hey, Swiss Miss is missing. Oh, my God, it's happening. It's happening. What is happening? It's happening. What? The faxes. The night vision goggles. Oh, my God, the fucking faxes. What are you talking goggles. about? Trent, stop this counting. Is, this is, this is, Trent, this is, this is, stop. Uh, stop. Uh, stop. Uh, mm. What? Why the fuck did you do that? Because I thought it would help clear your No, mind. it doesn't work like that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 8,000 things going on in my mind right now, and I have to think about the kids, too? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God, my brain is going to explode. Oh, God. Dude's crazy, but he is very gifted. I know. He's a bona fide criminal mastermind. We're blessed. Can we help you? Yeah. We'll get you, you know, like a diet soda. Will you please just go anywhere else? Make it here, team. I told you. So far, the only people that have been killed are criminals. They can all go fucking kill each other for all I care. We're survivors, or as I like to call us, hero vibers. Everyone, starting tomorrow, you are getting one week's paid vacation. Son of a bitch. I already got next week off. Well, then we're gonna have to give you another week. We're not safe yet. That upset that you were wrong and I was right. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, God. Wait, what's that in a bra? I'll get it. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Do it. Oh, this is really gross. Go ahead. Pull it. Pull it out. Nice. She works at a Swiss, Swiss bank? bank? It's like extra sad when a hot chick dies. When an ugly chick dies, it's like they life probably sucked anyway, so it's no big deal. But when a hot chick dies, it's like totally tragic. I know. I mean, hot chicks, they're like unicorns or, or leprechauns. They're rare and they're precious and they need to be protected. Oh my God. Oh my God. What? This is not a robbery. <laughs> Kuna Matata, motherfucker! Just hear me out, and I will return your firing pin. All right. 
These are the two faxes inviting both your teams to rob this bank. This is a fax inviting Swiss Miss here. They're all completely different, except each one has a blemish that appears every 3.2 inches. It is made when the printing drum has a scratch on it. No, I don't get it. Me neither. Each one was printed by the same machine? You were all invited here by the same person. Well, the same person, who? Marcellus Drum. Who's Marcellus Drum? The number one criminal mastermind in the world. He's stupid smart. This is not a bank robbery. This is an organized ambush. Marcellus Drum has a problem. He's gonna kill a bunch of people who are all connected to him, but he can't look like he's behind it. So you're saying that each of us here is connected to this whatever drum person for some reason? Yes. Here, let me lay it out for you. If I am right about this, the FBI agent has been after Drum for years. Darian and Weinstein worked for Drum before. The Swiss bank representative launders Drum's money. Mitchell Wolf is Drum's computer hacker. Peanut Butter and Jelly have worked for him as decoys. Each one of them could ride him out. And as for the rest of you, who knows? Maybe Mr. Blythe denied Mr. Drum alone. Maybe Madge and her kind, wonderful, warm tones offended Mr. Drum in some way. Maybe Mr. Clean flirted with him in a prison shower. Give one blowjob in prison and you never live it down, never. Maybe we're all here by accident, like me, just collateral damage. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Lock us in a bank and hope we all kill each other. I mean, that is a sloppy plan, especially for Drum. Which is why he's here. In person. Oh, come on. Just think about it. The blowtorch. The explosives. They all went off at exactly the right time. The FBI agent was obviously the biggest threat to Drum, so he had Weinstein take him out first. <laughs> See, that's right. Weinstein was working for Drum from the beginning. So was Mitchell, who knew when the security system would be down, and so Drum killed them next. <laughs> Drum did his best to make it look like a double murder, but the clicker that was in Weinstein's mouth was a big red flag that something strange was going on. My best guess is that Weinstein must have hid the clicker in his mouth to prevent the real killer, Vicellus Drum, from getting out of the bank. Next, Drum took out Darian with a rigged blow to him. And then Drum shot the Swiss miss. Five down, only eight to go. Oh, that is fucking bullshit. You know what? That's a nice little story you told, Sunshine, but I got a book to blow. Look, it's not gonna open up. Listen to me. The money's like flat paper. It's just a lure to get you here so Drum can kill you. Come on, hell, there's no money in the bank at all. Of course there's fucking money in the bank. Don't even say that. No way, dude. We have worked way too hard for this. You are not listening to me. This is not a bank robbery. <laughs> non-bank robbery I've ever seen. And you said there's no money in the vault, eh? You just don't get it. It's flat paper. Yeah, eat your words, freak show. Mother Ruth. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So it doesn't matter that the money is here if I sell a strum. It's still gonna try to kill everybody? Yeah, I can't believe nobody's starting to lose their mind right now. I don't know which one of you is my cellist drum. Just stay the hell away from me. Aren't you gonna get a gun? No, it doesn't matter. Drum's plan was always to take out numerous armed targets. Our only hope is to outthink him. So how do you kill a bank full of armed people? Cut off the lights, strap on the night vision goggles, and take everybody out. Jesus Christ, Hatcher, what was that idea? In the office, you said something about there being night vision goggles. Yes, there's a pair in the bathroom. So what more do you need? Whichever guy goes for the goggles is Vicella Strum. Or whatever girl. Dropmas, how the fuck we gonna fence drop? <laughs> hey, how much steak we got here? I reckon about four or five loads, so uh, let's get cracking, eh? Chop, chop. Really? Now you decide to save the bank? No, man, I want to go with you. There's a fucking runner in here! Well, I'm going too. I'm totally freaked out. I want to go with you. Don't forget me, motherfuckers. Oh, so we're all here. Why don't we hold hands as we go up to the roof, eh? It's no use, guys. We're gonna get out of this bank a lot. Oh, would you not say ominous shit like that? You're gonna spook Jelly. Actually, Trip's right. 
Your key won't work. There's no battery in that clicker. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Now, which one of you bastards has the battery? Vicellus drum. You took the battery to keep us here. No. Plus, you spent half your time wandering around the bank. You could have killed anyone at any time. And what's more mastermindish than setting up the perfect crime and then trying to solve it bit by bit? I cannot believe I kissed you. It doesn't take a mastermind to get under your skirt, sweetie. Oh, don't flatter yourself that you'd ever get that far. And the rest of you idiots. If you've been paying any attention at all, you would have realized that all the evidence points to Madge. <laughs> Dick all, bro. Drum? I'm telling you, I am not Vicellus Drum. I shut off the lights because I knew the real drum would go for the night vision goggles. Then I went up to the bathroom and I waited. Oh. A sick, kindly bank manager with a heart of gold. Everyone's gonna be shocked when they hear it's you. You think so? Those clones in the lobby think your wife sell us drum. So if I kill you, I look more like a hero. And you kill me, you look even more like Vizella's drum. So either way, you're just fucked. <laughs> No more lying, the game is over. Not so fast. Tripp and I set you up. We knew when the lights went out that whoever went for those night vision goggles was our guy. He can't kill all of us. Can he? No. One million dollars each. Untraceable. All of you. Two million dollars. Put the gun down! Put the gun down and we'll talk! Fuck it.
Here. Click it. Thanks, bro. Well, I guess that's all she wrote. Take it. It's insured. FDIC, mm -hmm. baby. <laughs> Got to love the new day. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Badgers. I just want to say one thing. From here on out, me and Jelly is going straight, ain't we? Yeah. Straight to the Hooters and Chacos. <laughs> I almost forgot my ear. <laughs> so after all that, Two guys named Peanut Butter and Joe who got away with all the money. Yeah, it's crazy stupid. I think they said they were fleeing to uh, Winnipeg. Thank you. You're welcome. You are free to go. Thank you. All right, lock down all northbound routes. Where are you at, sir? Oh, I'll take the whole thing. Susie, hero is not a word that I would use. Did I lead my team of hostages to the darkest night of their lives? Yeah, I did my job. I want two months off. Pay. Yes, ma'am. I want to wear jeans five days a week, not just Friday, and I won't lace it. Both eyes. Really, guys, you don't have to do this. <laughs> not a problem, ma'am. Well, thank you. You? There you are, ma'am. Go. Congratulations. Thanks, officer. Thanks again, officer. Mmm, shit. Wow, what is this? Is it a toaster? Is it a gravy boat? Ooh, wow, some people like to give cash. I never quite bought your cover story, it didn't ring true. Then, I remember Weinstein said he was shocked that only two bank robberies were going down tonight. And then I realized there are actually three. Pretty solid plan. Caitlin Nest. Plucky new teller who married the wrong guy. Such a sympathetic story. Your fake fiance, Max, explains your expensive tastes. Your history of exotic travel explains your sudden trip to a non-extradition state. And your phony wedding presents allowed you to walk out of the bank with hundreds of pounds of cash without anyone raising an eyebrow. You were gonna make your move around 7 p.m. when all the security went down, but Darian and Drum and everyone else derailed your plan. <laughs> you must have been so pissed. But you bided your time waiting for your opportunity. And when I killed the lights, you took your shot. Take it. It's insured. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's genius, actually. No one's gonna open up a woman's wedding presents. And then, to have the cops carry the money out of the bank and into the trunk of your car? Honestly, I think I'm in love with you. Too soon to say that. What do you want, Chip? This isn't obvious. I want in. Really? Equal partners. We only work the long con. No violence, no bodies. What makes you think I won't kill you? You're not the killing kind. Since you like me. You think so? Oh, I know so. It'll be fun. You already know we make great team. What do you say? Are you gonna freak out? I don't know. I don't know what you mean. What? The last time I kissed you, you freaked out and it was pretty pathetic. What's your real name? Alexis Black, number three in banks. Oh, that's so fucking hot.